What is up everybody? This is your guy Cly and welcome back to Budget Buys. And today I'm going to be talking about the LED blacklight USB strip from Five Below. This LED strip is brought to us by Vibe and it's a part of their Essential line. Now on the back of the box, it says that these are easy to use, can be cut to fit, more on that later, easy to stick on adhesive, USB powered, a class one LED product, 39.37 inches or one meter in length, low energy LED lights, universal USB input, UV wavelength of 390 to 400 nanometers, more on that later, and a weight of 0.059 pounds or 0.027 kilograms. I didn't really need to read off that last part, but I was on a roll. Also, this claims that they create a neon glow effect, which I'm glad they mentioned on the box because there have been a few party bulbs on the market in recent years, which are just purple light and not black light. And that has to do with the UV light mentioned here. Once again, more on that later. What you receive inside the box is the LED strip as well as a small instruction sheet, which is really not necessary due to the fact that this is so simple. It really is just a one meter long weather resistant LED strip and a USB cable for power. Unlike other strips I've reviewed from Five Below in the past, there is no detachable control box, nor is there a remote control. This setup is so bare bones, all you really need to do is plug it in and it turns on. Unfortunately, that also means if you want it to turn off, you have to unplug the USB cable, or you can pick up one of the USB hubs that Five Below carries, which has a power switch on each individual port. And while I don't have one of theirs, I do have one that I bought online a few years ago. It's pretty much exactly this, but I believe they have the four port version versus the seven port. And as you can see, on each port, there is an on off switch. This will help you with these, as well as some of the Booga LED gaming accessories like the headphone stand. Now, before I demonstrate these LEDs, let's go ahead and talk about a couple of the things mentioned on the box. And the first one I wanna hit on is the fact that these LEDs can be cut to size. Because that's the case with a few of the other LED strips I've reviewed from Five Below, and I always get comments from people talking about how they cut the LED strip, and then it stopped working, and they don't know how to put it back together. So, the thing you need to look for when cutting these LEDs is this spot right here, where you see the two copper pads. Or in the case of some of the more complex LED strips, the four copper pads you're going to be cutting right here across the line between them. If you cut somewhere like here, you're gonna have a bad time. But if you cut here, the LED strip portion that is connected to the USB cable will light up just fine. If you wanna join these back together after wrapping them around a curve or you just decided you don't want them cut apart anymore, you will need a soldering iron because what you're gonna do is peel back the weather protection right here, and then solder the plus five V to plus five V and the negative to negative. Now, while I don't have any of the LED strips that I've personally modified that way on hand, I do have an LED strip that I bought online where the manufacturer actually spliced multiple LED strips together in that manner. As you can see, this strip has the same style of copper contacts in between each of the circuits, and it even has a line with a pair of scissors going down the middle to show you that's where you need to cut. And what they did is just put a glop of solder on two different strips in order to join them together. So keep that in mind when modifying the LED strips you buy at Five Below. Now let's talk about that black light effect because that's really the main reason everybody's going to be buying this strip. What black light refers to is the fact that these LEDs output light on the ultraviolet spectrum, which is typically not visible to the naked eye. Though I should point out that most black lights do sprinkle in a little bit of purple or violet to add extra punch. And when it comes to the type of UV light used for this, in this case, we're talking about UVA, 
which, as the box stated, is in the 390 to 400 nanometer range. So you don't really have to worry about any of the negative effects associated with ultraviolet radiation. That's reserved for UVB and UVC. I should point out that UVC radiation is being harnessed for good at the moment in the form of ultraviolet sanitizing lights. However, these fire at 100 to 280 nanometers. That means that you're not going to be sanitizing anything with this LED strip. However, if you're anything like me, you're still going to be getting a ton of use out of this LED strip, and I'm not just talking about your suede blacklight posters. I picked this up for 3D printing. Now, the type of printer I have uses UV curing resin, and once the print is over, you have to wash this in isopropyl alcohol or some other kind of solvent, and that's going to leave everything kind of soft. So you need to hit this with additional UV light afterwards in order to do something called post curing. And up until now, I've been using this UV LED bar light I picked up on Amazon, but that's kind of clunky. With something flexible like this, I can put it inside of something like a jar or a trash can in order to get full UV coverage. And the timing couldn't have been better because I recently started 3D printing again. I didn't get much of that done during 2020 thanks to the shortage of isopropyl alcohol, but my local Dollar Tree now has cases of the stuff right next to the shelf. It's only 70% and not the 90 plus percent most 3D printing resin manufacturers recommend you use, but it turns out it works perfectly for the anticubic resin that I use. So expect to see more 3D printing and dice making videos in the hopefully not too distant future. All right, let's go ahead and get this light tested. For that, I'm going to need something that glows under UV. And fortunately, I've recently been doing experiments with UV pigments and resin. I guess I got kind of lucky that the molds for the 90s Nickelodeon inspired dice set I made in a video not too long ago were perfect for such an application. It's glowing quite well, so I'm going to have to say this is a proper black light strip and not just those faux black light party lights. Now that I demoed lights, I guess we finally reached the part where I have to give you my opinion about these things, and whether or not I think it's a decent buy. And I'm going to go ahead and say that's a bit of a tricky question, because this is indeed a $5 one meter long strip of black light LEDs, and on the surface that's actually not a bad buy. In fact, if you want to get something like this on Amazon, you're looking at about $15 for a two to five meter long strip. So point in five below's favor. However, I did take a few moments to count up all of the LEDs on this strip and it only comes out to 16 per meter. Whereas the strips on Amazon are going to be in the 60 LEDs per meter range. So in a way that puts the point in Amazon's favor, but at the same time, you're not necessarily going to need all of those LEDs so clustered together. So it's kind of up in the air in my opinion. I guess the deciding factor is convenience. And in that case, this LED strip wins simply due to the fact that as long as they're in stock, I can head down to my local five below and I can pick up one of these strips for five bucks. And actually that's another point in this strip's favor because I've not seen any UV strips on Amazon that come in at less than two meters for $15, which means that this is actually going to be more convenient to work with depending on your application. Though at the same time, I guess you could just cut off the extra length on the Amazon strip, solder on half of a USB cable and have two strips, but I'm still going to put the point here. All of that is an extremely long winded way for me to say that this LED strip is not that bad of a purchase, depending on your needs. And on that note, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.